guys. Welcome back to another edition of Call of Duty. This time we're on some Black Ops Cold War. Oh, and I'll get into the topic. These two gameplays I'm bringing on the channel are older gameplays. And uh, eh, it is what it is. Shout out to my buddy Wayne the Average Gamer showing me this little route right here right off the rip. And uh, I was like, yeah, well, get right here. You can get to the middle where they always run to. Yeah. Hope everybody's having a wonderful, blessed, beautiful day today. Taking care of getting through this day. Um, topic of this one, guys, is going to be the lack of the content from either the developers or whatever, the game makers. This game has actually gotten boring. I mean, stale, stagnant, skill-based matchmaking, and all the little mishaps that they have in this game and the lack of content. It basically just makes this game really boring, guys. I mean, I don't know. Where is these people? They just shoot you from all the way across the map, and you're dead in two seconds. I'm using the MP5 on this game, and the next gameplay, I'm using the Milano. So, of course, it's SMGs. That's all that's really anything decent to move around with. Every other time I run with an assault rifle or something else, it takes too long to bring the weapon up. I don't know why it's that way, even with attachments, it's still slow as snail piss. Um, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm pretty pretty upset and disappointed, well, not upset, but disappointed in, in Treyarch for all for the game developers out there that, you know, come with these games. I mean, come on, Treyarch. You know, you did a great job in BO2, BO1. Actually, let's take it back. World at War was, was a great game for me. Uh, didn't get a chance to play Black Ops 1 in its heyday, but went back and played it, and it seemed to be pretty fun. The colors were, weren't as bright and vibrant as they were in Black Ops 2. And Black Ops 3 was my favorite, boost jumping. And then BO4 was okay, guys. I mean, it wasn't my favorite when they brought Zero in, but before that, it was, it was okay. It wasn't too bad. But this game here, I have no desire to even want to play it. Um, I was thinking about jumping on and getting a fresh gameplay, but then I started thinking, I said, why? What's a, it ain't anything different. If I jump on right now, it's going to be one of these maps that we've been playing since the beginning of time. And, you know, it doesn't matter. Now, this is an older game, uh, and so is the other one, because I wanted to get this out there. I, I really feel like they just losing the interest as far as multiplayer goes. Uh, I don't play the, the Battle Royales and the, the War Zones and whatnot, but um, I know that's definitely where they're focusing all their time and energy on, because like I said, it's just no content. And for the season two goes, they gave us one multiplayer map for 6v6. One? And I remember the days when they used to drop like four at one time. And you were like looking forward to getting new maps because you've been playing the first three, four months of, of the same old maps. But uh, honestly, I don't know if I enjoy the way they got this, this set up with the battle pass. And, you know, and that's another thing. These these. Uh, little packets they want you to buy it comes with camos tracer packs and whatever else they seem to do that stuff and update it and put tons of new stuff in there with that but when it comes to the maps and guns i thought would they bring us one or two guns too and it's ridiculous there's no content in this game it's basically dried up and then the meta of the game it forces like you get killed by either it's either the, the DMR or the stoner, or you get killed by the MP5 or the AK-74U. And then, you know, that's basically it. It's the same weapons being used over and over. And like I say, there will be a few people who use assault rifles, but they'll sit back and play, you know, they don't really move around. So, I mean, I don't know, man. That There's just not a lot of enjoyment for me out of this. And this is actually the first... Treyarch game that I've felt this negatively towards, um, you know, and it's it's unfortunate because I know the potential with Treyarch, 
Uh, if you don't believe me, go back and look at their pre track record for past Call of Duty games. They've come out with some really good titles, and they've done an excellent job up until now. It's like they don't even care. All they're worried about is these tracer bullets and, and, and these camos that they keep putting in the game. But then the game's buggy. Uh, it has multiple problems on it. Hit registration's messed up. Skill-based matchmaking's got the lobby sweaty as hell. Uh, there's no content as far as like bringing us new maps and, and new things to, to look at. I'm, I mean, this game is no more different than it was at launch. And I was hoping that they would come with a patch or a, a quick fix or something to get this sucker up and going and, and get it get some momentum back in this game. But I have a feeling if they stay on this path, uh, we're going to be looking at a very, very dry year for Call of Duty uh, as far as the next three to six months. I think in October is when they'll release the next Call of Duty game, and I have a feeling from Victor Z, the reliable source that's always gave out the previous titles, uh, saying it's World War II. I don't think that's going to be so exciting either, uh, just because you can only beat a dead horse so many times with the same thing over and over, and people are just going to move on to something else. You know, I'm sure that, get it, get it. I'm sure that they're going to say, well, you know, this will be a game that integrates with the Battle Royale or the Warzone, and that's what people are looking for. But they're really losing the core fan base of multiplayer uh, by limiting the content that they, they're putting out. Because... I hit this guy twice, die by my own grenade, my own war machine. I got flak jacket. Whatever. But this game's wrapping up, so I'm going to bring another game right behind it, guys. And uh, we'll get, get a chance to talk a little bit about this. I want y'all's feedback on this. I mean, do y'all feel like we're getting a lot of content as far as maps and, and guns? Uh, or do y'all feel like it's it's about average of what we always have been getting? I feel like it's below average. Look at this dude laser beams me. That's another thing. My guns take six to eight bullets to bring somebody down. But when I get killed, it's like feels like I'm getting shot with two or three bullets and I'm dead. I don't know if any of y'all are having any problems with that inconsistent gunfight. Um, I sure I sure still do, honestly. Um, I don't know. I don't know. What do you What do you guys feel like uh, with Black Ops Cold War? Are y'all really enjoying it? I see a lot of y'all are, you know, level 500 prestige, 600 prestige, uh, and, and I'm like, how do y'all play it? Now, I can understand maybe getting on zombies and leveling up quicker that way, or even playing the Warzone deal and level up that. But I mean, are y'all really leveling that fast up on multiplayer? Like, to me, I don't see how you would have the interest to, to play in it. I mean, honestly, after about, I don't know, about five or six games, it starts becoming rage-inducing to me. Like, it, it, it gets me upset. I'm, like, wondering how did that happen? Why did this happen? You know, I'm just so many questions and a lot of unanswered. Uh, okay, he's sitting right there. There he is. Hey, friend. But, um, I don't know. This is a solo TDM, which that's all I really play in, in these days. Because, like I said, all my friends have done jumped off of this and, and back to playing the older COD games. Or they're just playing something totally different, uh, which that's where I'm headed. I mean, I started playing Madden uh, back again, doing the challenges. They used to call it Madden Challenges or whatever, but it's been kind of fun. Uh, and I need to try that Gears 5 again. We, uh, Shotgun Sniper and me, we played around with it for a little while, but we didn't really get into it as far as the multiplayer aspect. And I mean, we were just doing the campaign mode. But uh, I don't know what what game are y'all y'all been really enjoying? If it's not Call of Duty, 
Because I am up for a different type of game, honestly, at this point. And uh, it's just getting to be boring to me, this game. And I don't even find the interest to turn on the Xbox to, to play the game. So what do we finish up? In the game, winning by score, or time, not score. 31 and 13. I mean, whatever. It's everything I can do to just get what I get. Here's my teammates. Let's see what the other guys are doing. 25 and 10. Yeah, ain't too bad. But yeah, they're keeping these skill based matchmaking just about either dead even. My games are going to time. Or that we're getting beat by, beat like a drum, which I think that's what happens in this match. Um, it's unfortunate. I actually think I'm playing with a buddy on this one. I see a different color arrow in the mini map. So maybe I'm playing with somebody, either uh, DEG or my buddy Shotgun Sniper One. Whoa, now that Milan, y'all, I'm gonna warn you, it's a slow fire rate. It's really not that strong of a weapon. Um, the only reason I like it is the hip fire is pretty good. And it seems to do okay long distances with the silencer. That's my little thing on the weapon as far as what I've known. But don't take my advice or opinion about it because I'm only like a level 38 to 40 by now. Uh, I, I don't even think I'm going to see level 100 in, in this game's life cycle. And as far as playing it after the game is, is gone... I probably will not uh, go back to this game much at all. I might play it every now and then, like, you know, when the new game comes out. But definitely not going to be something that I went back to, like I did BO3 or even BO4 for that matter. Whoa, two-piece. But uh, with skill-based matchmaking and the way they got things worked out, you just don't stand a chance of having fun for any long distances. It just seems like it's a, they want you to get off of this and go to something else game. That's what it feels like to me when I play this game. It feels like they want you to leave this and go play Warzone or Zombies or something else. And uh, I just don't see how anyone, either A, you're, you're so bad at the game that you don't care if you do bad or don't even know that you're doing bad, or B, you're just such a beast that you're going to excel no matter if they put you in a crap lobby or good lobby. But for the average player like myself, that doesn't leave anywhere to go. You're either, if, if you're an average player, meaning you got a 1KD in this game, or a little bit better. I'm not speaking no 3, 4, 5KD. Y'all are gods, and you're just going to be that way, and, and that's cool. I'm not, I mean, I'm happy for you guys for being so good at the game. But my thing is this. For an average player, which most of the people who get on this game are usually around average to below average, you know, it gets frustrating after so much time of the same old junk. It gets frustrating, you know, and, and you're left powering off the daggum console and, or just uh, exiting the app itself and going in and playing something different. And, I mean, they're saying they, they did this for the player retention to hold the player's retention even longer than what they were. I call bullshit on that, man. Because I in the past, if I enjoyed a Call of Duty game, I would play for three to five, six hours. Seriously. Um, nowadays, I give it 30, 45 minutes, you know. I don't even know if I can go an hour. But... 30, 45 minutes, I'm good for it. And then I'm ready to get off, you know? And guys, to be honest with you, I hadn't really played Black Ops Cold War probably in about 10 days to two weeks. I've been really busy with a lot of stuff around the house. We finally got that shed built in the back of the house. I'll try to uh, take some picture of it. And we got the French doors put in that go in from the, uh, I, they call it a floor room or whatever. It's a glass room. Uh, so we got that going into the living room. So we put the French doors in. It was just an open way going in there. So yeah, we've been busy with that and get, we got that shed built. And uh, the only last thing I want to take care of for 2021 as far as my personal goals was, was get this car sold. Uh, and like I said, once I get this car sold, it's paid for. I'm not in any hurry to sell it. 
but when I do, I can give my wife some money. She's going to use that for a down payment on her new car, and then I'll just take her her little car she's got. Yeah, her car's paid for too. So we're just not looking forward to paying for a new car tag in our town. A, a tag could be anywhere from nine hundred dollars to twelve hundred dollars, you know, a year. It starts going down after about four or five years old, but. It's expensive to own a new car, uh, where I, you know, so it's not something that we want to do, but it's definitely something we need to do. And so, yeah, War Machine. I'll say this about this game: if it wasn't for the War Machine in this game, I don't think I'd even want to run streaks. You know, it's a shame, that I, and they may have it. This is how in tuned I am to this game. But it'd be nice to have like a specialist bonus. Like you can pick perks and stuff like that. And that's another thing about this game, guys. While it's on my mind. Everybody in this game is running the exact same perks. Ghost and Dead Silence, right? And, uh, or they're, you know, they're running uh, Ghost or De Dead Silence if they're running just a three perk. But I run Spycraft, crazy enough, and I run uh, Dead Silence instead of the uh, ghost where it takes you off the UA, the mini map because my opinion is they're going to kill me anyway if they know I'm there or I'm not so it really doesn't make much of a difference to me but the spy craft allows me to uh, the counter UAV is not a problem it doesn't blur my mini map when they throw up a counter UAV and uh, it also allows me to hack their equipment which is fun I get score off of it just like that I just hack that bouncing Betty but um, I don't know, man. That's my opinion. Do y'all think this game is boring? Or do you think it's exciting? I'd, I'd like to know in the comment section. For the people who actually own this game. Now, I know I have a lot of subscribers who watch me. And they don't own the game. Or they don't even play Call of Duty. They just like watching. And I get it. That's cool. And I very much appreciate that. Uh, but for the ones who do have this game. Put in the comment section. Are y'all in very much enjoying this game or is it boring to y'all does it seem like i'm just bored with it guys and i don't even play it a whole lot you would think for somebody who just plays as little as i do that i should still find enjoyment but it's actually more frustrating than enjoying uh at the end of the day like it doesn't allow you to play but just a few good games and then you just get molly -whopped the rest of the time you're on so we lost down by four. It ain't too bad. Uh, I think I went 32 and 13 on this one. The other one was 31 and 13. I don't know, man. That's about an average gameplay. It's what it wants you to do. It wants you to go even Steven at the end of the game. It wants you to have 10 kills, 10 deaths, you know, and you had a decent experience at it. Maybe you died five times in a row. I don't know. Well, guys, that means my time's up. I hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed. Till next time, I'm on time, and I'm out, guys.